Welcome to this video, great to have you on board. On this channel, I already have a couple of videos where I show you how to use RxJS and the operators to enhance your applications. In this video, I want to have a look at reduce and scan, two operators which can be mistaken for each other because they do kind of the same thing, but they have one distinct difference and we'll have a look at this. Besides that, they are really useful operators if you have an ongoing operation, a couple of values being emitted, which you often have when using observables, and you want to kind of reduce these values to a final result. Let's have a look at how both works. And let's start with reduce. Now, you might know the array reduce method, which allows you to reduce an array by applying a function which takes the total value of your array, so what you will have in the end also, and then the current value, the current element in the array, for example, and then it does something with that. You define what that is. It could add up all the items. And then it goes to the next element, takes the new total, so for the first element now, takes the next element and adds this maybe, goes to the third one, takes the new total, adds the third, and so on. And in the end, you have just the total for the whole array. Now, RxJS has a similar function. Here I have an observable which I created with the off helper method where I simply pass a list of elements. You can pass an infinite list here, how many items you want, and it will simply emit all these items synchronously immediately. So that is just what it does. So if I hit control enter now, we simply see one, two, three, four, five. Now I want to reduce them to get the total sum. And for that I can add the reduce method where I have to pass a method and this method as described will get two arguments. That's the total and then it's the current value. It will do this for each emission, so for each value, so to say. And then it has to return something here. It has to return us a new value, a new total, which will be used for the next element as an input total. So that is kind of a loop it does here. Besides this function here, we can also pass a second argument, which is our starting total, because for the first element, we of course have no total. So here I want to start with zero, and now in my function here, what I want to do is I want to return my old total, initially zero, plus my current value. So for the first element, we will have zero plus one, then for the next value, we will have one, the total of the first iteration, plus two for the third one, three plus three, and so on. If I now clear the console and hit control enter, you see we just get 15, which indeed is the sum of all these items. And that is what reduce does. And this can be very useful if you have an observable where you know it will eventually be completed and you want to reduce all these individual values to one single value in which you really are interested in the end. So what is scan then? Scan works pretty much the same, almost. I can even replace reduce here with scan. And if I now clear the console and hit control enter, we see the difference. It also gives us 15 in the end, but it prints on each step. But on each step, it prints the new total. So for the first element, it prints one because we have zero plus one. For the second element, it prints three because we have one, the total from the first iteration plus two, and so on. And this is the difference. Scan is useful if you want to reduce your elements, but you are interested in the in-between totals. And reduce is useful if you're only interested in the final total. It's also important to recognize that reduce, of course, only makes sense if your observable eventually completes, whereas scan doesn't need to complete. It prints out the new total and internally it keeps track of the latest total and therefore, even if it's an infinite observable, you will still be able to use scan on that and simply add it up or whatever you want to do. Of course, you don't have to do additions here. You could multiply it. You could do anything with it. So these are scan and reduce. Hopefully this video was a bit helpful in showing how they work and how they differ.